What's up, good people? Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. Here, working at the Red Brick House, and um, just about finished. This is the last grit I got to do to sand this floor out. Man, if you saw this place when I was literally tying the floor pieces to the, the, the logs, 200-year-old logs, man, it's crazy. But anyway, that's not why you're here. You're here because you're saying, what is Mark Holmes talking about right now? Cowboys get a value add. Dallas Cowboys get bonus. The Dallas Cowboys get great news. Great news because um, Peyton Hendershot, Peyton Hendershot, Peyton Hendershot who played well last year, had a couple of drops in the first game in the Giants, has been on injured reserve. He's off of injured reserve. And it's possible, it's possible that he could play this weekend. I know, that's kind of crazy. Because we're, you know, right now, you know, we got Kayvon Turpin. You know, he's been nicked up a little bit, but it looks like he's going to be good to go to be able to play this weekend. Tyron Smith, it was interesting seeing an article today that says the Cowboys should move on out of a two-time all pro Tyron Smith. Well, tell us something we don't know. Unfortunately, Tyron Smith is getting old, but when Tyron Smith is healthy, and right now, the last three games, he's been able to play. In fact, the last couple of games, he's been playing like the old Tyron Smith himself. He's been playing lights out. So if he can continue to do that through the end of the year, man, we're really good. But back to Peyton Hendershot. Peyton Hendershot, second year tight end. Um, my buddy Roz, Roz who doesn't talk to me anymore, um, Roz called him Peyton Hendershot, a George Kittle S player, but understand that tight ends take years to really develop to be that good. Think about Travis Kelsey, he's been in the league for like 10 years. He's been elite for about the last seven, so it took him some time to get that underneath him. And see, here's the thing, God, I, I feel like such an idiot because I've said this a million times. The thing that made New England great wasn't that they had six or seven great players. They had a great quarterback, Tom Brady. They had a great tight end in Gronk, okay, and actually Aaron Hernandez for a few years. But what they had was not necessarily tip-top players. They didn't have a lot of pro bowlers, but they went about 35 deep on their roster. So when they lost the player, they had somebody that was good that could step in, he may not be quite as good as the other guy, but it's not like going from Tyra Smith to Chaz Green. You understand what I'm saying? And I, I used to always say that because we, as a Cowboys organization, have always gotten on that, you know, we've got seven, eight great players that are eating up all the money. And when you get guys that are making 20 and $30 million, then there's only a little bit for the rest of the guys, guys that are playing significant money that are veteran minimums, you know, or one or two million dollars. And so we drop off in skill level when we lose people. That's what's killed us. Well, we actually have tight end by committee right now. And you think of how Ferguson, Fergalicious is coming along, Schoonmaker's getting used a little bit more now the past week. You know, he's got the drops from time to time. But what he does do well is he blocks really well. And then you get Hendershot who can block well and can catch, although he's had the drops this year. That kind of gives you more and more people. And the thing is, like our defensive line, if you can have a guy, instead of having to play 60, 70 plays, you get guys that are playing 20, 25, they're fresher going against that offensive line that's not changing. And that's where you get stronger in the fourth quarter whereas other teams are getting tired. And so maybe, you know, we, we like our own guys and having our own guys understand the system that we're working. So there you go. There you go. Having to eat some crow that maybe the Joneses know more than what us on YouTube know. And it's great to be able to get back a guy like Hendershot Young. Um, they say that he's looking good right now. He's itching to get back out on the field. He's hungry. And that's what you want. If you get guys that are healthy and hungry out on the field with some ability, hey, I mean, because, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm interested to get out on the field too, and I'm hungry to get out there, but I don't have the ability anymore. Just don't. In the meantime, I've got to hurry up and finish this floor so that way um, 
I can live stream at eight o'clock tonight with my buddy Game Time Brian, and I'll have this floor varnished because I gotta have this as a bedroom by Wednesday. Yeah, would you sleep here? Would you sleep in this room? It's gonna be nice by Wednesday, I can guarantee you that, because if you saw this floor, look at that floor, look at that. That's 200 year old wood there. 200 year old, okay, actually it's older than that. I just lied to you. Because the wood itself was cut 203 years ago, but it took 150 to 200 years for it to get where it was for them to cut it down. So we're talking about 350 to 400 year old wood. So ladies, ain't nothing wrong with old wood. I'm Mark Holmes, and I'm glad that the Dallas Cowboys, for once, we got good news on the health department. Peace.